Welcome back to the Getting Started with Alias Sessions. My name is Rich Mazza. I'm on the Autodesk team and I am in the support organization. So in the second video, we are going to continue to explore the Alias UI. And by the end of this video, you'll have a basic understanding of the palette, how to access tools in the palette, how to create primitive objects, and how to manipulate those objects in the Alias modeling window. If you do not see the palette, Simply go to the menu line, to Windows, and choose Palette. So to get started, we'll build a subdivision primitive. So we'll move down to the subdivision tab, left click to expand that tab, and we'll choose in the top left corner a sub D primitive. Just a quick note that if you see a little yellow arrow, that simply means there's more tools behind this. So if we left click hold, it will expand that icon out to reveal the icons behind. So in this case, we have the cylinder, a box, a plane, and a torus. So just to get started, we will create a cylinder. I want to direct your attention to the prompt line which is right below the menu line. Alias will tell you what it's doing and what tool you're in. So in this case, it's telling me to enter in a new position for a cylinder. It's in the Create Cylinder tool. There's a couple of different ways I can do this. The first way that I will show, and I don't expect you to do this often, but I can type in 100, 100, 100, and that's simply all I'm telling Alias to do is build it at 100 millimeters X, 100 millimeters Y, and 100 millimeters Z. When I hit enter, Alias builds in that location or at those coordinates. So holding down the shift and the alt, I can tumble to verify that, yep, it did. The most common way is to simply left click. And Alias will build a cylinder wherever I click. Now this is a little confusing uh, for new users, but Alias is always in a tool. You can never tell Alias to do nothing at all. So it will keep me in the Create Cylinder tool until I tell it to stop. Uh, many other applications, you will invoke the tool, it will build that primitive for you, then it'll exit the tool and put you in another one. Alias won't. So I need to tell Alias I'm done. So I'm going to go to the palette. Go to the pick menu or the pick tab. I'm going to left click on that. Nothing is to deselect, so I'm picking nothing. And then go to pick object. Once I go to pick object, if we look in the prompt line, Alias is now telling me to pick something. So I wanted to bring that to your attention right off the bat because I know that can be a little confusing. So I'm going to just box select by left poke. I'm sorry, left click, dragging over all these objects, and I'm going to go to delete, delete active, and I'll confirm that. So let's go back to the palette, back to subdivision, and I can scroll down and make that a little easier, and I will create a cylinder. When we create a cylinder, we still have the opportunity to manipulate it by this using this manipulation handle. So I can left click on the Z axis, which is indicated by blue, on the arrow. That will allow me to move it. I can do the same for Y, which is in green, or an X, which is in red. I can also move this on a 2D plane. So in this case, this will be the Y plane, indicated by the green square, and that will move that along that plane. Let's see if we can get a better shot of that. There, so you can see it's just moving it along that plane. Now we can also rotate this object. So if I grab the rotation handle, in this case is X, indicated by red, I can rotate this on the X axis, I can also do this in the Y or the Z. Scaling. I can select the cube at the end of the handles 
and I can non-proportionally scale it in that axis. So in this case, it will be the red X. I can do the same for Y or Z. Lastly, I want to bring your attention to the little button in the top right corner. So pivot simply tells this manipulator to align itself or orient itself to the object. If I left click this, it puts it to global. If we tumble around, we can see that it is now aligned to the world coordinate system. Also, this may be a little bit difficult to see. We may want to shade it. So and there's a couple of ways to do that in alias. Easiest way is to go to the control panel, go down to the diagnostic shaders, and simply click on the multicolor shader. As we are doing this and manipul manipulating this object around, we're still in that crate cylinder. So if I click again in my modeling window, it will create another cylinder. So now we need to tell Alias that we're done creating cylinders and we're ready to move on to something else. Again, Alias is always going to be in a tool. So in order to do that, we can one, expand the pick, pick nothing, which just deselects what's, what's selected and then pick object. Now there's been a lot of traveling around with my cursor to access tools. I can use what's called as marking menus to make that a little bit easier. So if I hold down the shift and the control holding those two buttons down shift control I can left mouse button click and hold and there I can have pick nothing pick object which is here and here if I wanted to move this object around it from here I can expand the transform tab and choose the uh, transform tool or shift control pick nothing left mouse button click hold pick object while still holding down that shift and control select the object and then shift control middle mouse button hold and get the transform tool here so there's a few different ways in alias to do the same thing a little bit confusing at first but it to be honest once you start using it it makes sense and it's actually very convenient because you find the workflow that works best for you in this case I would encourage the marking menus so using the transform tool brings up that same handle I can click on global it will reset it to pivot I can left click on an axis and move it in that axis just like we looked at before so again the palette this is where all your tools will be I can scroll down to subdivision select the primitive that I want I can type in the coordinates for that primitive in the prompt line or I can just simply left click in the modeling window. When I'm finished, shift control, shift control, pick nothing, pick object. I can move over to the transform window and either choose the transform tool here or shift control middle mouse button hold and choose the transform here. If you want the shaded, Go to the control panel, diagnostic shader, multicolor, or in this case, we can turn this back to wireframe. So thanks so much for watching. That was the second video of the getting started with alias session.